So today I'm going to go over some acupuncture points that relate to jaw pain. Now the interesting thing is that either the practitioner can stimulate these points or the patient. And you can actually access fascial connections throughout the jaw, the neck, and throughout the entire body by stimulating these points. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to stimulate them, but these are very powerful points. So the first point we're going to stimulate is large intestine 4, otherwise known as hoku. So on Lindsay here, we've got two yellow dots here. And this is located right at the web of the hand, basically across from the second metacarpal on the radial side. Now I'm gonna get in there and actually stimulate that point. Either I can go directly with my index finger or my thumb. So right on the point there. How's that feeling? That's good. It's good? Yeah. Okay. So you feel a little bit of pressure there. Just relax your hand. Now if I take my thumb on there, and I go like that, it's a lot more pressure, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'd probably recommend that. So we'd be on there for about 30 seconds to a minute. And you may be wondering why I'm stimulating this point on the hand when we're actually treating TMJ. Well, in points, especially in the extremities, about 90% of these points are areas of fascial thickenings. So we can actually stimulate the entire nervous system by going on there. The fascia has 10 times the neurological receptors as compared to even muscle. So by getting on here in classical Chinese medicine, they would actually use this point as considered to be a source point or a source yang point for actually working on the entire face. It could be for uh, things like trigeminal neuralgia or jaw pain, facial pain by stimulating these points. Very common point for headaches. So again, we stimulated for about oh, 30 seconds to a minute. And I take the other hand, same thing, get on there and stimulate it. Is one side more tender than the other when you're talking about right or left? I'd say the right is more tender. Yeah? Yeah. You're right-handed? I am right-handed, yeah. Okay, so either we're just, uh, you know, you're working more with your right hand and then it's just tighter, or you, there is actually a correlation there between some of these fascial thickenings. How's it feeling? Oh, uh, it feels, actually, this is less, less sore. This is less sore. Let's go back to this one for a sec here. And this one? Yeah, it's still less sore. Yeah, more sore. all right. So what you'll find after a little while is that it'll actually start to soften or it'll even melt under your hand a little bit and the person will notice that it actually eases up and if you're working on yourself you notice the same thing. So this is large intestine four. Now the next point we're going to do is gallbladder two. It's really an interesting point. It's uh, Lindsay, I'm going to get you to open your mouth here. You can see actually how this actually dips right in there. Close again, open again. So we're just anterior to the intertragus notch, posterior to the condyloid, and we'll get right on that point there. How's that feel there? Okay. Gotta keep your mouth open when you're doing it. There we go. Is this okay? Yeah. Here I am asking you questions and trying to keep your mouth open yet. Okay, now I'm gonna stimulate both sides at the same time here. Just turn a little bit this way. Okay, does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. So again, we'd stimulate that for about, oh, 30 seconds to a minute. Now, in traditional Chinese medicine, they would also use this for ear problems, tinnitus, and problems with the jaws. But they would obviously put the needles in there and leave them in there for, could be 15, 20 minutes in conjunction with the other points. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Not really sore? Mm -mm. Open your mouth. Okay, there we go. It just drops right in there. Okay. Let's get in like that. Good. So, so far, we are in gallbladder two. Previous to this, we did large intestine four, and now we're gonna move on to the next point. So the last point we're gonna go over is stomach seven. Now, this is a really interesting point. It is just anterior here. So we're gonna go anterior to the ear, and we're going to go just in front of the condyloid process, just posterior to the zygomatic arch. Open your mouth a little bit. And in the depression here, You'll be able to see it It'll go right in there. How's that feel right there? Okay. Feels okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get you to turn your head here a little bit. So obviously we have the red dots on here. And I'm gonna take my hand on one side, my thumbs on the other side, and then we're gonna stimulate. So this time we have your mouth closed when I'm working on it. The other one we had your mouth open. How's that feel? Oh, that's good. Yeah. 
Not too much? I feel like I feel it more over here. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually going to take my index fingers here. Do you feel that more? Mm -hmm. Goes in a little bit deeper, doesn't it? Okay, good. So again, we're going to go 30 seconds to a minute. Not sore? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is stomach seven. Behind it, gallbladder two. And in the hands was large intestine four. Again, we're stimulating these points so that we can actually access the fascia or the connective tissue that surrounds the temporomandibular joint so we can work on temporomandibular dysfunction. And practitioners can use this or patients can also use this as homework. How's that feeling there? Feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. So again, we stimulate these points for could be somewhere about a minute, even two minutes, but this is a really effective way of actually accessing that connective tissue. Give it a try yourself. I find that this really works when I'm treating patients with temporomandibular dysfunction.